Hi everyone, it's Steve Field from the Prime Safety Department. This is our sixth video that we've been making. I think we've got a good amount of information for you this week. We're trying to kind of answer your questions, your concerns, look toward the future a little bit. So you'll hear a lot of speakers talking about that. Uh, and we've also got a couple of fleet managers from home that'll talk to you and we're gonna do a little remote session from over at Prime E. So we're gonna get started and I'll talk to you again at the end of the video. Thank you. Hello, I'm Robert Lowe, uh, President and CEO, CEO of Prime. I almost forgot my own job title there. That's, that's pathetic, isn't it? Anyway, it's good to talk to you all again. Appreciate what you're doing out there. You're doing a great job. We're doing just fine. Business is starting to improve. Um, there's some green shoots out there. It's a beautiful day. We have some beautiful weather. Uh, so, you know, the birds are singing, the grass is growing, so everything's good. There have been several questions come up about how we return to normal or what normal is going to look like. You know, I think you've heard the term new normal. Well, I certainly think that's appropriate here. Uh, we're not in a big rush. We're monitoring what states and municipalities are doing. Uh, you know, there are rules that, that we must comply with. We're going to be watching those very, very carefully. But generally, just so you have some insight into how I'm thinking, we're going to go slow. We're going to go very cautiously. We're doing just fine. We've had very few positives. We're talking about 12 drivers out of 8,800. We're talking about four in-house folks uh, out of nearly 2,000 in-house folks. So we're doing a great job. We're gonna continue to be very, very cautious on how we open up. I suspect that it's, it's going to be, well, I know it's gonna be a gradual basis. I'm sure you're anxious to see your fleet manager in person um, and other, other folks uh, in person, uh, you know, that is gonna, gonna occur, but it's gonna occur very gradually. Our people are happy working from home. They're doing a great job working from home. Fleet managers have told me, you know, that 30 minutes that I save in the morning and 30 minutes I save in the evening commuting, I spend that time getting to know my drivers better, spend more time on the phone with them. So in, in some areas, we might even be better, more effective as a company working from home. So we're going to consider that as we go forward. We're waiting on some equipment, some uh, some UV uh, bug zapper kind of stuff in our in our uh, air handling system that will actually kill the COVID-19 virus uh, so it's not circulating in our building. Some other mechanisms to better sanitize and screen. So as those uh, uh, projects are completed, you'll start to see us inviting uh, people back on a very limited basis at first. Uh, we will continue to provide you the excellent service and communications uh, that we have. You know, you're our highest priority. Protecting this company's culture, which does have to do with, you know, getting together occasionally is, uh, you know, very important to us and we are, we are going to do that. So. I'll leave you with that. Maybe it's, it's some inclination of how we're going to go forward. Appreciate what you're doing. You're doing a fabulous job. If I can be a service to you in any way, let me know. Thank you very much. Good morning. Steve Wetke, Vice President of Sales and Marketing at Prime. This is our si sixth video that we're uh, sending out to you all. I <clears throat> want you to know we're thinking about you. Uh, your health and wellness, your family's health and wellness is primary to, to all of us here at Prime. So we're continuing to pursue different ways to protect you. Uh, I can also tell you that our customer base is doing the very same thing. Uh, you'll see, hopefully you'll see those customers wearing face masks and doing the very best they can to protect uh, themselves as well as you. You know, our service has been absolutely outstanding cannot thank you enough for what you're doing in the service area. We're seeing a bit of an uptick in the overall business in our fleet. Uh, have some really good signs coming on. You know, I have a couple of bid packages that we're working on right now that uh, hopefully will yield some additional business as well. I think our highest calling hasn't changed. It's safety. And in this case, it's safety for, for you and your family and it's safety for the general motoring public. So continue to uh, continue to operate safely, take care of yourselves. We got our salespeople staying in front of our customer base daily. I mean, literally, 
whether it's uh, over the phone or face to face via technology, we're, uh, we're seeing them. And they're very, very pleased with the effort and the service and the capacity that they're getting from the prime team. One thing you want to remember, please, we are a very well capitalized company. We are going to weather this storm. We're going to get through it together. There's going to be a lot that aren't going to be able to do that. The other side of this thing is going to be a very good situation for you and for Prime. Hang in there, do the very best you can, protect yourselves, and we look forward to seeing you soon. Thank you. Hey everybody, it's Jim Guthrie in the Reefer Division. Uh, back for, I think, our sixth installment of our videos. I uh, hope, hope everyone's uh, getting some good information out of these videos and enjoying them. I want to talk to you a little bit about what's going on this week. Uh, you know, in the reefer division, our freight mix is, is a little bit better this week, and uh, there's some positive signs, a lot of good momentum. Uh, you know, we're seeing some other shippers that have been closed open back up or get, make preparations to open back up. So, you know, several good signs there. I have to tell you, uh, again, this week on a revenue per truck basis, we outperformed the same week the previous year. So our year over year numbers are improved. Uh, and you know, that's a testament to all that your guys, that everybody out there, all you guys and gals, uh, it's a testament to all your efforts. And we really appreciate what you're doing. Uh, it's definitely gonna pay off. And and uh, as Steve, I think mentioned, you know, we're, we're prepared, we're very well positioned for this, this economy and this marketplace. And, and no matter if we have some struggles or if it really improves, we're gonna do really well. And uh, we expect that there's gonna be some really good times on the horizon. We, we just gotta get through the tough times. So, uh, had a couple questions this week about uh, various uh, shippers that may be reopening that had some outbreaks and what they're gonna do to protect our drivers. And you know, one thing I would say is, is keep in mind, everybody's really trying to search for their new normal now and everybody's doing their very best to protect you and protect all of their employees and associates and so you know the the main things we can focus on ourselves is just taking the necessary precautions uh, you know wearing face masks is going to become pretty normal for a while right now so wearing face masks hand sanitizer uh, you know social distancing uh, you know, all those things really, t checking your temperatures regularly, make sure that you don't have a fever, you know, all those things and, and whatever Dr. Abraham recommends as well. And, and some of these things may change over time, but all these things are just to help protect you and protect the rest of the public. So uh, keep that in mind uh, whenever you go, whenever you're dispatched on a load <clears throat> to pick up at any location, that location's taken necessary precautions as well. Uh, so the, all of our shipping uh, base, all of our customers are very serious about uh, protecting, stopping the spread of this disease and protecting our drivers and protecting their associates. So they're going to be taking all kinds of precautions, as are we internally um, and as are you out there on the road. So, you know, focus on those precautions for yourselves and uh, we should be really good. Uh, operationally, we're still operating mainly remotely. Um, and that's working really well. Um, all of our associates are working very hard to help you and to help our customers, and we're gonna continue that. Um, you know, we're gonna continue to take all the precautions necessary, and as we look at different plans to reintegrate back into the office, you know, you're gonna see some people wearing face masks probably. You're gonna see some, uh, you know, uh, spaced, more spaced out uh, associates working more spaced out. Uh, you're gonna see fewer associates in the office probably, so all those things are gonna go uh, hand in hand as we move forward through this through this uh, uh, epidemic so um, you know I'm just gonna say really quickly again thank you so much for all you're doing you're making not only prime proud but you're making our country proud uh, you what you've what you've done is phenomenal uh, you've, you've position your performance has positioned us to be uh, the premier carrier in the country continue to be the premier carrier in the country and we appreciate that uh, those efforts are going to pay off and like like uh, I said, there's going to be some really good times coming up here. Uh, we're just going to weather all the storms, and then we're going to come out strong on the other side. So uh, we'll see you next week. Thank you for all you're doing. Uh, everybody, please be safe and be healthy. Thank you. Good morning, everybody. My name is James Wyckoff. I'm a fleet manager in the Reefer Division. Just want to let you know that Prime has set us up to work from the house, and we have everything we need to support you. Uh, as you can see, I've got our security department. 
We've got HR behind the camera, aka my wife, and of course upper management here running the show. Uh, in all seriousness, thank you for everything you do and the sacrifices that you're making out there, uh, keeping our customers serviced and supplies on the shelves for my family and yours. Thank you. My name is Ken Allen. I'm a lease fleet manager in the flatbed division. This is my workstation I use from home uh, while working here. I can use this just exactly like I would if I were sitting in Springfield Terminal. Everything I do here is just exactly like their uh, good seamless process that IT department set up for us. Uh, they set up so many people who work remote. I can't imagine what it took to make that process happen, but they got it done. And uh, productivity and everything that we do is stayed just exactly like it would be if everybody were still sitting in the Springfield Terminal and we got people scattered out everywhere working from the house, but everybody stepped up and taking care of business like they should, and uh, it's, it's really worked well. So we're proud of that. We're proud of you drivers out there on the road that are also taking care of business. You guys are hauling the freight, keeping America moving, doing great things for Prime, uh, really helping us out through this. Uh, you guys have been flexible with what we have going on. We know that it has not been a perfect market out there for a little bit, but that market is about to change, especially on our flatbed side. Uh, we've had a lot of shippers that have really done great things to help us you know, move you guys and keep you moving as much as possible during the crisis. But they also been sitting on a lot of freight. Uh, they could not move that freight due to receivers being closed or other complications with COVID-19. And uh, as soon as we get these states reopened and get somewhat back to normal, stuff is really going to take off. We're going to be and uh, just like it would be in the spring under a normal year or probably plus some with uh, them sitting on freight just waiting to move it. So hang tight, good things are coming, good things are gonna happen. I really feel like we're gonna run strong for the rest of the year. So it's gonna be a good year, it's gonna finish good. Um, I can't say thank you enough to you guys out there working and uh, working through this. Um, stay safe. Stay healthy, social distance as much as you can. I know sometimes on the road that's hard to do, but uh, we really need you guys to stay healthy. We need you guys out there working. Uh, you guys truly are the ones that generate all the revenue that pays my salary, that pays everybody's salary at Prime. The revenue that you guys generate pays all the bills. Uh, everything that you guys do, uh, we can't thank you enough. So stay safe out there. Need anything, let us know. We're here for you. From Robert Lowe down to Jim Wilkins down to Brian Brown, these guys in our flatbed division, uh, we appreciate our drivers. Can't say thank you enough. So keep trucking, be safe. Thank you. Good morning from Tanker Operations. I'm Brett Von Willer. I just wanted to step in real quick and give you a little announcement from Prime East here. Um, we're excited to be over here today, and I'm going to let, actually let Eric Alley do the announcement but before he does that I want to take an opportunity to once again say thank you for what you're doing out there being on the front lines every day I hope you're staying safe if you run into any customers any tank washes any vendors that you have issues with here in the tanker division or any division please feel free to reach out to me get me involved and I'll do everything I can to help you all out again I appreciate you what you're doing stay safe Eric Hey, good morning everyone. Eric Alley from over here at Prime East. Hope you guys are safe and well today. Um, the exciting news that we have to, to share today is that our tank wash over here for our uh, part of the tanker division, the uh, inedible side, the non-kosher side, is going to be finished on June the 10th. So we're so excited about this new opportunity, this new wash bay. It's state of the art. It's top notch from from top to bottom. It's going to be the best thing um, out there on the market. You guys aren't going to get a better spot to come and get washed out. We're super excited about the opportunities that this wash is going to provide for our the division that we're operating in. So we are we are beyond excited. So thank you for all you guys are doing. It is, uh, it is from the bottom of my heart that we say thank you. I say thank you, my family, all the Prime family. We appreciate all you guys are doing because all of this is for you guys. It's to make your lives better, and, and we really appreciate everything you have. So thank you for giving it your all. We appreciate you. It doesn't Words don't even describe it. So see you guys. Be safe. Good morning. Hope everybody's doing well. Uh, a couple quick updates as far as COVID goes. We are still waiting on our antibody test, and... Uh, 
once we get those in, we'll likely do a sampling to see how uh, reliable it is, how valid it is. I know there are a lot of questions that have come up in the media recently about the effectiveness of the antibody test. Uh, and one thing you have to remember, the antibody test is not necessarily a passport to freedom. And we knew that going in. You want to remember that it is just basically telling us if you have been infected. It doesn't necessarily tell us if you're immune. It doesn't necessarily tell us if you're not contagious either. As I said, I think last week or so, that uh, you might have a positive antibody test and think you're not contagious, but we really don't know that until you get the nasal swab repeat and make sure that's a confirmed negative. Uh, and you know, we're seeing some folks flip after about two weeks. Uh, I've had some flip uh, about three weeks. I have some people are still positive, you know, almost 40 days later. Um, along with that, you want to remember that the uh, antibody test is, does have its limitations. Uh, you know, some of it is based on user error as far as you know how you're sticking yourself. If you gain an adequate sample, uh, also depends on the timing of the test. Uh, you might not have developed the antibodies yet as well. Uh, so again, your your hard fast test is going to be the nasal swab. The antibody test is a good screen, and it's a good way for us to help get us back in the workforce and get us going again. Uh, I don't I don't disagree with that aspect of it. Also regarding the antibody testing, uh, when you're doing the antibody testing, you're looking for two specific antibodies. One's IgM antibody and one's your IgG antibody. The IgM antibody is the one that reacts immediately. The IgG is the one that kicks in in the next two to three weeks. And IgG is typically what's gonna give us the long lasting protection. Again, we don't know what uh, how uh, COVID's gonna behave and how it's gonna play out as far as uh, the long-lasting immunity. You want to remember stuff like the flu or any of the other virus we get, we do build up antibodies to it. So if you test somebody uh, for influenza and they had IgG antibodies, that doesn't mean they can't get infected again. As you see every year, people get infected with the flu repeatedly. Um, and a few reasons for that. One, you may have lost some immunity along the way. Two, it may be a little variation of the strain. But when you have those antibodies, it still helps you uh, mount a response nonetheless. So that's one thing to keep in mind as you hear uh, some of the news reports saying that the antibody test is not exactly the most reliable. It does have a lot of reliability to it. And again, these are all things we knew going into the antibody testing. So it's not really much of a surprise to us. So as we see uh, certain states and uh, our country go back to opening up, that's a fantastic notion. That's a great idea. I love it. But we still have to make sure we remain cautious, uh, watch the social distancing, watch the hand washing. Uh, it's not a bad idea to wear that mask when you're out in big public areas. Uh, again, you know, something's better than nothing. We don't uh, necessarily have to all wear N95s, but any protection is going to be at least something that's going to help you. Uh, I know at Prime we're going to kind of watch how we roll out our opening. We definitely want to take a cautious approach to that and uh, make sure we're doing the smart thing. Uh, thankfully, uh, Prime has done an amazing job keeping things rolling, keeping things going out there. Uh, let's try and keep it that way by doing what's uh, smart and healthy and cautious by maintaining our uh, normal precautions. Uh, again, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to call into the clinic. Uh, if you're having a hard time getting testing out there, uh, we can do it uh, over here at the terminal. And as we get the antibody test and get more data on that, I'll make sure I keep you guys posted. Thanks again for all you do. Hey everybody, Jason Seymour in operations. Just want to give everybody an update. Uh, first, thanks again for everything you're doing. Amazing job keeping yourself safe, keeping our customers taken care of. It's really, truly remarkable. Can't say enough good things about what you're doing. Let's talk about our operations and what we're doing at the terminals. Again, any of you that have been through any of the facilities know that we are still screening and we plan on keeping that screening going for the foreseeable future. Might not be a forever thing, but it's going to be going on for a while. Even as we hear about some of these states and municipalities start to open up and that pressure increases, I mean, let's be honest, we all want that to happen. We want to get back to normal as quickly as we can. We want to be safe about it and we want to be smart about it. Again, 8,500 drivers, probably a couple thousand in-house associates. We literally have a handful of cases, 12 on the driver's side. When you think about all the places you've been, all the people you see, all the people you interact with, it's truly amazing that we've only had 12 positive cases out of our entire driver force. We feel very strongly that our proactive stance that we've had with getting folks out of the office and the screening that we've done has been a huge part in keeping you safe and keeping that number where it is. So that's going to continue on for a while. So we, again, we appreciate your patience. 
We've got screeners 24 hours a day, seven days a week at all three of the main terminals. Again, if you are tripping one of those screening questions, doesn't mean you can't come and get fuel, food, drop a load, pick up a load. We'll do anything we can to support you, even though we may not be able to allow you onto the property at this time. As far as supplies go, we have a bunch of sanitizer still, probably close to 400 gallons between the three facilities. Um, if you need some, make sure you come through and grab some. We want to keep the hands clean and keep the interior of your cab clean. Remember, this is in a liquid form, so it can be sprayed on the cab, on your steering wheel, on the dash, and be used to sanitize those things as well. Another reminder, we're basically out of bottles for the most part, so we ask that you keep that first group of bottles and we'll be glad to refill them as you come through. On the mask front, we got our second shipment in, so we have about 10,000 on site right now. Um, and those will be available in the plazas as well. For those of you that may work off site, we've gotten word for some from, excuse me, we've gotten some word from some folks in Reed City, the uh, dedicated folks out in California. If you run one of those little loops and you don't have the ability to get through one of the terminals, just reach out to myself or Andrea and we'll make sure that we get some out to you so that you can comply with all the local regulations and uh, customer requirements. I want to end on a good note. We got our first two releases this week. We had a couple of drivers that came in on April the 2nd and tested positive. They've been recuperating over at the hotel. Uh, we just got a negative test back result from them on Wednesday, so those guys are both back out and running. You know, we still have, uh, you know, 10 positives out there that are recuperating. Thankfully, nobody hospitalized. Uh, no serious uh, you know, injuries or ventilators or any of that stuff. So all good news on that front. Uh, just keep yourself safe. Let us know if there's anything we can do to support you. Thanks. Hey everyone, it's Matt, Prime Driver Health and Fitness Coordinator. And I just wanted to give you an update on everything that we're doing through the program right now in these strange times we're in. Uh, so we've been off site now and working virtually from home for a few weeks. And since that time, we've been able to do a lot more outreach with our drivers in the program. And we've been able to put together pieces that we usually don't put together in the office like we usually are. And so right now, one of the things that we just got finished up doing is actually a thing that was threefold. So we had virtual health coaching, we had nutritional counseling with Sarah, our dietitian, and then we also had virtual personal training. And we just wrapped this up today, and it could be something we continue moving forward though in the future. And so just got done doing that. And then one of the things that we're also doing is we have a program starting tomorrow. And so the signups are on driverhealthandfitness.com for this under the programs tab. And this is a seven week program going from May 1st to June 19th. And I'll know a lot of you out there right now might be stressed, uh, might be worrying about how you can enhance your immune system, might be worrying how you can eat healthy foods when you're on the road, how you can exercise, because ideally these all add up to a healthy immune system and to decrease your stress and to increase your quality of life while you're on the road. And this program is aimed to give you all of those tools so you not only get healthier, but you also learn some really awesome things that you can transfer with yourself in the future to, to be a little bit healthier in your everyday life. And so we'll have a seven week program, the Simply Fit program that will do that. It's free, completely mobile, and really it's just another thing that we can offer to you while we're virtual that will get you a little bit healthier moving forward and teach you some awesome healthy habits going forward. Another thing we also have is gonna be a company driver wellness program. So this wellness program is for company drivers in the second year and beyond. So if you don't know if you're eligible for this, please reach out to me on driverhealthandfitness.com. And it's just a great way that we can reward our drivers. And it's a small way for practicing healthy habits while you're on the road. And that's another fantastic thing that we're offering right now as well. Another great piece we're working on within the driver health and fitness program right now is just a way to hear your voices more to guide us through what we do with the program. So right now, we've started the early recruitment stages for a driver health and fitness task force. Now, what this task force is, is basically driver health team, myself, Sarah, working together with our drivers that are health conscious and that are really trying to inspire drivers on the road to get a little bit healthier, to work together as a team to really guide our program moving forward and in building better health initiatives that'll suit you better on the road as a driver and to also just give you the right tools and to collaborate in a way that, you know, we can put both of our ideas together and our health, health professionals perspective on these things and also yours as a driver for what you see on the road that you think we can do better. 
And so if you would think you're eligible, you think you would want to learn a little bit more about this, then go to driverhealthandfitness.com and just put in the front page there in the contact us box your information. We'll reach out to you and tell you a little bit more about it as well. I just wanted to say from all of us on the Driver Health and Fitness team, we really appreciate all you're doing during this time to keep our country supplied and to keep moving all of the supplies around like you're doing. You know, we really appreciate it and we'll do whatever we can to keep you a little bit healthier while you're on the road, whether that's decreasing your stress, trying to give you tips to enhance your immune system so you can kind of fight the bug and everything if you, you know, stay sanitary and stuff. And so if you have any questions at all, go to driverhealthandfitness.com and put your information in there, contact, contact us through that or you can always call us at 417-521-3473 and we'll do whatever we can to help you guys out during this time. Thanks very much guys, stay safe. Hello everybody, my name is Chase, I'm with Abacus CPAs. Some of you might remember me from the Friday morning safety meetings or from the upgrade or trainers classes here at Prime. Here to update you with some of the events going on in the wonderful world of accounting. First and foremost, if you have not already heard, the IRS has extended the filing deadline for 2019 tax filings to July 15th, 2020. Uh, now that will also extend for payment as well. So if you have already filed, you do have until July 15th to pay as well. You can also file an extension to give you until October 15th to file your taxes. However, taxes are still due to be paid by July 15th. Speaking of 2019 tax filings, the IRS is using this information for checking up on your stimulus check to check the status on that on their online tracker. If you go to the IRS website, irs.gov, you can check the status of your stimulus check using 2019 and 2018 tax information. Please be aware that a lot of people are experiencing issues with this tracker due to the volume of people checking on the status of their stimulus check at this time. So if you do experience issues, you are not alone. For anybody that does need assistance, please stick to that tracker. I realize that it is frustrating at times, but it is the only tool that the IRS is using currently. Speaking of the tracker, that is going to be your only method. Do not take any phone calls from the IRS. If you do receive a phone call with somebody asking for your personal or your banking information, please hang up. The IRS is not calling anybody for this information. Most people do not have to actually inquire or do anything to receive their stimulus check at this time. So if you do not receive your check via direct deposit, please know that a paper check will be coming in the mail. As for the payroll protection loans, we have received several calls regarding the status of the payroll protection loans. Please know that if you have submitted your engagement letter and the necessary information, we are still currently working on those applications. We will continue to do so as long as funding is still available. For anybody that has not filed for 2019, please contact us or visit our website, abacustrucking.com, to get your copy of the 2019 tax organizer. That will be your first step in the filing process for 2019. As always, uh, please call our office at 417-380-5000 for any questions that you may have pertaining to either the payroll protection loans, stimulus checks, 2019 tax filings, previous tax filings, or LLC applications. Our office is still open in the Millennium Building in the Springfield Terminal. We have our regular business hours from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Monday through Friday. So if you do happen to pass through the terminal, please feel free to come and see us for any questions that you guys may have. From the bottom of our hearts, thank you guys for everything that you are doing out there, keeping the country moving, stocking our shelves. We wouldn't be able to get through this without you guys. Thank you very much from Abacus CPAs. Well, I hope that you found that information useful. Uh, that's always our goal for these videos, to give you useful information. A couple of things I want to talk about here as we close out the video. Number one is there's been a lot of change here at Prime in the last month or so, but at the end of the day, what we have done, as painful as it may have been, has worked. To have an organization within excess of 10,000 associates, and we've had all together between our driver associates and our office and shop associates, approximately 12 positives for COVID-19. 12 out of over 10,000 associates. So what we've done as far as having associates work from the house, the actions that you've taken on the road with the sanitizer, the hand washing, the mask, the gloves, the social distancing, when we put all that together, it has worked. So, so we're pleased about that. Uh, this could have gone much, much worse for us. 
So what about the future? I'm sure you've seen in the news, in the last six weeks, 30 million people have lost their job in this country. Think about that, 30 million people have lost their jobs. And fortunately, a good number of them will get their jobs back, but they're not gonna get that missing income back. They'll be unemployment, but people do wanna be working. At Prime, no one has lost their job. No one has been furloughed. No one has been laid off. Some of our kind of outside companies that are associated with us, particularly the hotel, we've had some challenges there. We've tried to redeploy those folks, trying to get them back to work. But at the end of the day, trucking is always going to be here. And because you managed to stay healthy, because our sales associates have continued to get business for us, we've been able to dodge anything to do with layoffs or furloughs. Well, what about our future business? You heard Steve Wutke and Jim Guthrie talking about it. The future truly is bright. There are gonna be some trucking companies that don't make it through this. And nothing is more powerful than supply and demand. Trucking companies, we fall on the supply side. We're providing a service to the people that need to ship products. As there's less people in the supply side of it, that means rates get to go up. That means we get more business. So we are very confident about the future. The future is going to be very bright for us. We need to get through this time right now, but on the other side, we're going to be looking very, very good. The last thing I want to talk to you about, Robert talked about this, well, how long are these going to continue like this, these changes? As we talk about the terminal first, we're going to continue to do our checks as you come into inbound. Jason Seymour talked about that. It pays big dividends for you. We can get you right to Trinity Healthcare if there's an issue. If you've been to an infected area, we can keep you away from other associates. So those are good things. As far as the office goes, we wanna get our people back. We know that you wanna see your fleet manager, your payroll person, your road assist advisor, your log advisor. But by having those people work at home, we have basically kept COVID-19 off of our facility, out of the terminal. When it's time, we're gonna start to bring people back, but we're gonna do it slowly. We're gonna be careful. You may see that, hey, why is my fleet manager working at home today? We may start rotating around a little bit, so at the end of the day, we've got fewer people working in the terminal every day by rotating who's working at home. We've got a plan. I'm gonna say this, and then I'm gonna be done. You put your faith in Prime. You have come to us saying, I want a good job where I can support my family. I think we've done that. And in turn, you've done what we've expected of you. You've been out there, you've been delivering freight, basically accident free, claim free, on time. We could not ask for more from you. So this two way give and take here, I think has worked for both sides. It's because we're a family, we work together. We're gonna get through this. I'm gonna thank you again for everything that you've done. Continue to be safe out there. I'm just starting to notice, I think a little bit of increase in traffic, at least from my perspective. I think people are starting to get back on the road, so be careful. We've had a good run this year, so let's keep that up. We can't be safe enough out there. Thank you for everything that you're doing, and we'll see you next week on video number seven. Thank you.